What's going on guys, this is Raul here. I'm the broker and owner of Ready for Real Estate here in Austin, Texas. I'm doing this quick voiceover video because I suck at talking and working at the same time. And then I was reminded that I promised myself the next time I buy a rental property or an investment property, um, not only I'm going to get the content, I'm actually gonna take the time to upload the content. So here we are trying my best at that attempt. Now the history behind this house is located in East Austin. It was on the market, then it came off the market for a while. I just reached out to the, uh, the agent, took a shot, put in an offer, and it was accepted. Now my offer didn't come in the form of cash, so it left me in some type of a bind, uh, meaning that if the appraiser was to come out here for the lender and say, hey, this house need X amount of repairs and we can't approve uh, this loan until we get these repairs done, that put me in a predicament where I should have came with cash or I can ask the seller, is it okay for me to get inside this house early, start knocking out the things that I know the appraiser is going to be a red flag on so that when the appraiser do come out, this loan can still go as smooth as possible. The things that I were doing were very minor, but I've been in this business long enough to know exactly what an appraiser is going to look at when they come out. It wasn't a whole lot of money, but it definitely took my time. But at the end of the day, it's going to be well worth it. Like I said, we are still under contract. We have not closed on this house, but I really wanted to do this video to keep you guys in the loop as I go through the process. This right here, definitely going to be on the you should not do side of things. But when you're not paying in cash, you know that the seller is uh, has the upper hand. It's up to you to figure out what are you willing to do to keep the deal alive. And like I said, in this situation right here, I had to get dirty for a little bit, um, and that's okay. Hopefully, in the next coming weeks, you'll see a video on the closing day, and we're gonna keep on pushing from there. I got a lot of upgrades in mind. This 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 project has almost a fifty thousand dollar budget. I know this video was real general. It just provided some information, but I do plan on going in in depth on the whole process that I did, even down to the numbers and the profit that I'm looking to make. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next video. Thanks.